Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. Uh, we've been aware of Assad's uh, chemical weapons stockpile for years, yet we failed to hold him accountable. The United Nations has been completely useless at uh, affecting any change in Syria, thanks in no small part to Russia and China's persistent stonewalling at the Security Council. And Congress has certainly had our fair share of missed opportunities. Last Congress, the House passed the Iran, North Korea, Syria, Nonproliferation, Reform, and Modernization Act overwhelmingly with a vote of 418 and only two against. Yet, Mr. Secretary, the Senate failed to take any action on it. Had the United States been taking a more proactive role in Syria by instituting strict sanctions against Assad's regime, it may have changed his calculations on the use of chemical weapons. In order to justify action now against his regime and risk further escalating the conflict, the President must clearly identify what our national security interests are. What are our objectives in limited and targeted airstrikes? What does degradation look like? And what will we do if the initial action does not yield the intended result? A one Senate version of the resolution has a limitation on ground troops for combat operations. This sounds like it leaves uh, open the possibility of, of boots on the ground for something other than combat operations, like special operations. Is this intentional? Will you confirm that under no circumstances will we place boots on the ground in Syria? We all know we're in a tough fiscal environment. Even a limited engagement, if it ends up being only limited, could potentially cost taxpayers billions. With members of the Arab League so eager for U.S. participation, have they offered to offset any of the costs associated with this action? Iran and North Korea are carefully watching our next move. If we say that the use of chemical weapons is unacceptable, yet we fail to act, this will embolden Iran's pursuit of nuclear breakout capabilities. A refusal to act in Syria after the president has said such a, set such a clear red line will be seen as a green light by the Iranian regime who will see that we don't have the will to back up our words. So gentlemen, what about boots on the ground, the Arab League, are they going to pony up uh, our objectives? And, and lastly, there's some rumor circulating today that uh, perhaps the House will not have a vote on, uh, on authorization. The Senate will and perhaps not on the House side, if you could comment on that. Uh, Madam Chairwoman, I don't know anything about this rumor, so I'm not going to comment on it because it is a rumor. Um, as first I've heard of it. With respect to uh, our uh, countries uh, offering to bear cost and to assess, the answer is profoundly yes, they have. Uh, that offer is on the table. With respect to boots on the ground, profoundly no. There will be no boots on the ground. The President has said that again and again, and there is nothing in this authorization that should contemplate it. Uh, and. Uh, we reiterate, no boots on the ground. Uh, in terms of what do you do if it doesn't work, I, I think I'll let uh, General Dempsey speak to the question of targeting, as, which he can't go into in detail. But we have absolute confidence that what our military undertakes to do, if it is ordered to do so, uh, will degrade the capacity of Assad to use these weapons and, and serve as a very strong deterrence. And if it doesn't, uh, then there are subsequent uh, possibilities as to how you could reinforce that. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Secretary. And the, the details on the offer and the proposal on the table, uh, what, uh, what are the figures that we're talking about? Well, we don't know what action we're engaged in right now, but they've been quite significant. I mean, very significant. Uh, in fact, uh, <laughs> Some of them have said uh, that if the United States is prepared to go do the whole thing the way we've done it previously in other places, they'll carry that cost. That's how dedicated they are to this. Obviously, that's not in the cards, and nobody's talking about it. But they're talking in serious ways about getting this job done. And in terms of uh, other countries uh, being in the, uh, in the fight with us with these limited uh, strikes, 
what other what what time is over thank you thank you